Uh, today's video topic is something which I am not kind of really, really just thought of really doing something like that or it's not a basically any tutorial or something like that which I'm gonna really do it right now. Uh, this is something which you know I'm really feeling right now. I'm got got a taste in my mind, and I just want to let speak it out just uh, because as as my channel is really just kind of uh, basically meant on to these two topics of discussing the technology stack and the face mask track itself. So and and being really kind of going and starting out channel from the October itself, I really want to just kind of give you the taste and the glimpse of what I'm really feeling right now uh, how is it and how is it not working or what should we do in a much more way and to be precise yeah uh, I'm really feeling stuck as you can see by this thumbnail itself and the reason is particularly about just to kind of get through it I really want to just discuss about Often time it's really happened that you quite get excited for a project, you start working for it and you really start doing what you start learning else, you finish learning what you want to do and then you start to make your own projects and then you realize that hey you have stuck in something else, uh, maybe we should try to go on wherever what we want. You try on Stack Overflow, you try on Reddit. You get a limited appropriate amount of help but sometimes it's really not that sufficient enough sometimes if you are really working alone uh, chances are you might get quite screwed a lot it's and getting stuck in programming is something which you can't avoid at all number one at some point of the other time itself you will get stuck itself now to be really precise what this video is actually meant about is to really kind of give you a feel that you aren't really alone itself and and I really want to document myself for this face mask journey itself out what I'm doing what itself is going on right now and, and being said that it's really kind of difficult for me to explain what I'm really saying just now it's like it feels like you know random bluff sometimes it's really I'm kind of saying something that kind of making no sense at all but I'll really kind of give you a brief taste and scenario of what happened when I started out and till what has happened uh, sorry uh, where I started from initially from October itself and what things really have happened till now the track and especially yeah I just remember like how COVID thing this affected me in positive or the negative way itself so in october itself i really started out and my first video was uploaded on data structures and algorithm whether she should really really do it or not and then presidingly i really started to uploading the face smash videos the response was quite good uh considering the channel was in really juvenile phase slowly slowly i really started to doing something else or uh, making the react form, making the react sign up user, making logo, process, tutorial videos, uh, various dev talk videos, some AWS rants and bunch of other things as well, number one. But the major thing really happened from I think that was from December. I really spent entire month on just AWS itself and that really just made my progress a little bit slow and it's still really making even right now that I'm um, trying to learn Cognito as well but there aren't any credible sources to kind of go and learn out everyone is kind of using that simple basic uh, amplifier stuff but it's really a matter of testing for me about how valid is that and how to integrate with other services of AWS as well so after uh, February itself, you know, it just ate my one month and during that February month, I wasn't able to do any damn shit. I, I really lost my momentum, which I was, I was really feeling great in January itself. And then afterwards, it really came around in March and April time, that COVID thing, it hit itself. So my activity was zero. 
my you know I supposedly like to go out and exercise a little bit but that was also really kind of not available for me since uh, everything was closed everything was not really well enough built to, to, to go out and and then later words uh, uh, I really started to feel lethargic I was not doing so well I you know instead of doing the web development things I really started to binge other uh, night show series as well which I, I really genuinely wanted to do it because you know something is better than nothing as well and when you're not focused on the work at least you're trying to do something else which can really prove something meaningful in later words so the March and April went just fly by I didn't do anything much except for rather researching on uh, re-watching the react tutorials and how to do with that and how to really just kind of make it happen and basic like constructor props handle change hooks which is I'm not really confident enough even right now because I'm really used to the class based component so after in me itself I really uh, realized that the initial core base was really clumsy was it was the CSS structure was not good enough number one so I thought let's re entirely rebuild it so I first entirely rebuild everything by using everything uh, just what it was previously and to optimize the CSS and the HTML code and the result was quite significant uh, to be honest itself the, the previous code which was really clumsy enough and the newer code there was the newer code was I think 50% less smaller than the uh, original previous one itself so I really got to know realize that I know I was just kind of using uh, wrong CSS styling and using the unnecessarily uh, HTML tags which really hampers the performance uh, by significant margin and along that side itself the coming part of the CFM uh, form itself number one uh, I really entirely uh, try to build my own custom libraries for picking this one to say selecting all this stuff and uh, like selecting custom tag, custom elements and also the CFM of like sign up form itself which is comprised of multi-step form itself so the problem that I really faced is uh, currently right now what I'm really facing is as per the working mechanism of multi-step form itself is like when you enter the data in it and you just go next 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 and even you come back to it the data is still there in the input form and that is something that I'm not really able to achieve with a profile a pick image and the really is the country selector code itself that is a true problem uh, and the first and the also that the uh, like react places autocomplete library itself I really made a video on react places autocomplete itself which you can check it up right here something like that and it's really cool but the problem uh, with it is that I'm not able to really uh, take that input state and to really fetch that into register.js itself uh, I know it sounds a little complicated and jargon but itself it is so and, and this issue was something that really ate my mind for four or five days something like that number one and I'm really trying hard to really just kind of ask everyone about what the answer is just for example like uh, asking on stack overflow what it is how to do it like what how to answer this solution but i'm not getting enough satisfied answer number one and, and the major and another reason due to this covid scenario is something like that uh, i'm not able to go in any meetup as well so that i can really ask the bunch of experts how to do this thing how this thing really works and uh and really i'm i'm really kind of feeling some imposture in the react states and props because really frankly i really don't understand how it uh, any how to transfer the state of one form into another itself and and vice versa itself so uh, and that really causes me to really feel a little bit low but trust me i'm really wasting my time unnecessarily for you know it's been more than four or five days that i'm really stuck on the same issue 
and I'm really trying hard to figure it out what it is and what it is actually not. The basic uh, state input and management issue is just a little bit complicated but uh, I'll make sure to get over it because we have to do it. There is no other way to getting around it. Uh, I also really asked some of the people on LinkedIn but apparently they didn't seem to ignore me which is obviously fine. Uh, I'm not really ranting about something else and I don't want to victimize myself as well. So uh, yeah, so like and that's what I want to say and and also the Cognito is another thing that I really want to do deal with it. So uh, you may really directly see instead of really boring tutorials and other kind of thing. Uh, there is something I'll directly upload the uh, Cognito video on how to do it and uh, how to really just kind of go uh, use the express modules in the lambda functions so that is something I really want to do it and want to share my journey and also I will really upload a video on how to do a uh, form validation in just uh, multi-step form itself so that you can't really be left apart and left alone itself so uh, that's it I really want to say is like if you are feeling alone like that's the part that's completely natural and fine, number one. Like everyone does kind of go, go through it and uh, kind of get through it. And I'm really feeling uh, right now the part, uh, should I really go for internship or not? Because that is also the one of the really good way of kind of getting the knowledge as fast as possible and as quick as you can really emulate the real work environment itself. So. I just wanted to know that so if you are really feeling sad a little bit compressed a little bit depressed like don't worry just do it what you want and i probably don't know what your situation is in the coding scenario what you're doing what the challenges that you're facing but but uh, it's gonna really be fun to overtake it you know so that's what I wanted to say. You know, I really don't have any words, I know, to really phrase it correctly. Maybe this video is a little bit boring uh, because I don't have any final topics like any other previous videos that I really do regularly. But this uh, is something that I just wanted to document myself that I'm really kind of getting stuck because I'm not able to solve my error and I'm trying to do it. and. Uh, and AWS videos and the tutorials are will be really coming soon and this month itself and the July itself so one thing apparently that really uh, just made my expectation to be clear itself that uh, if you go on my Twitter page there is one just tweet which really says let's make the face mash in three or four months definitely you can make that considering that you have enough amount of knowledge and decent confidence in your uh, coding skills and what you do but initially what I'm is like I'm neither really complete noob and neither I'm a complete expert itself so I'm really kind of getting struggling in between and that's what I really want to document about myself so this was it guys uh, I don't know what to say but if you really like this video consider subscribing to this channel share with your friends share with the developer friends can follow me on instagram social link connect me on linkedin ask me something on twitter whatever you like and till then stay connected stay happy and i see you next time